off the, the hearing loss trends. What, what are the trends in terms of people's hearing health? Well, it, it's a noisy world out there. There's noise everywhere we go in, in industrialized society, and uh, it's a hazard. And I think it's important to focus on this because it, it, hearing is what connects us with the people that we love, our spouses, our friends, our children, our grandchildren. And, um, you know, it, it keeps us, as you, as you made a great point, uh, more cognitively engaged as we get older. We want to live the best life possible. And that's what we do is we help people live the best life that, that they can, uh, staying connected to the things that they care about, the, the people that they love. And uh, it's, it's just good for our overall well-being. So thank you for the focus today. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Ken, you mentioned it, you know, in our introduction, uh, you know, this there is a connection between hearing loss and cognitive decline and, and dementia. What exactly is that connection? How directly are they related? Well, it, it's a relationship. I, I don't know that they've made it a causal kind of relationship, meaning, uh, you know, they haven't made a direct link between hearing loss and cognitive decline and dementia. But there's an association. There's a, there's some sort of a relationship there. And there are studies, many studies, uh, you know, showing that uh, one increases the other. The, the hearing loss, um, you know, does go along with the cognitive decline. And so it's a lever that we have to be able to, you know, impact that and keep us more in touch with the world around us. Um, you know, the, the auditory system is really, it's part of our brain. And so if, we're, if there's a deprivation of sound going into the auditory system, uh, it's depriving us of, of neural activity, and over time we can lose connection with uh, the, the people around us and what's going on around us, which, uh, which isn't good. That's not healthy. Yeah, talk about the signs of hearing loss. Uh, you know, a lot of us may, may think they're all pretty obvious, but uh, just give us a rundown of, of hearing loss and, and how you know it's happening. Well, it, it, it can be tricky to pick it up sometimes because we hear at different frequencies from low frequencies up to high frequencies. Most of the time for, for us, uh, the hearing loss affects the higher pitches first, which just affects the clarity of the sound. It does not affect the volume. So a lot of the time people are not aware that they have a hearing loss. They just say things to me like, you know, I hear the speech, but it's just not as clear. It sounds like people are, are mumbling. And uh, so we really need to go in and get a, a real hearing test where we go through those different pitches and we can find out if there's a deficit that's that's starting to filter out sounds like the the s sound or the f sound or the t sound um you know the the higher pitches are, are where the the clarity is the consonant sounds um and those are important to, for distinguishing words like wife and white or wipe uh we noticed during the pandemic when we were all wearing face masks and we took away the visual component of of listening you know, that, that we got a lot busier. People started noticing that they were using their eyes to hear instead of just their ears. Mm. And so we, we've been busier, and that's been a good thing. I think it's bringing more awareness to the fact that, that uh, we need to pay attention to our hearing. Mm. Yeah, Dr. Luther, uh, we have to leave you now for time, but uh, where can people go to uh, make sure that their hearing health is good? Should it be their personal physician? Is there somewhere special they should go in order to get it tested? Uh, yeah, go go to an audiologist or a hearing instrument specialist who can do a tone specific hearing test. Uh, the whisper test, which is commonly done in a in a doctor's office, really doesn't give us as much information as what we need. Uh, people can email me or reach out to me. I have an office in Lake Oswego. Uh, they can call our company. We offer free hearing tests, a, a, a comprehensive hearing test. So they can call our number at 1-855-898-1320 and we'll help them. Your, and your company is probably easier to go Here, by a company name. Hear USA, yes. Hear you. USA. All right. Dr. Luther, thank you for joining us on this World Hearing Day. Appreciate it. And if you'd like to see a hearing doctor, again, you can visit hearusa.com and schedule that appointment. Yeah.